Wow, it's been like a, did we make it even 24 hours without seeing your ugly face? You're Seducing. the one that shows up at my house. Uh, I got a lot of stuff, this is gonna take a while. Like a lot of stuff. Well ladies and gentlemen, I am going to the farm today. We got Bon Zaddy, we actually have Macy and Finn and John from Endeck Outdoors. And I'm picking up Austin right now. We got the Squeaker Seeker and the Tundra. All over, look at that guy. Look at that brute bush, just, just doing it right there. So, as you can tell, that's what we got going on right now. We got a lot of cool things going on this weekend. So uh, you guys just uh, you guys stay tuned and enjoy. So we've got like uh, like a crazy amount of things. You can see. I mean, we have decoys. We've got coolers. We have grills, deer corn, a full generator, propane, a dog kennel, another cooler, some guns, some fishing rods. And this trip will literally last less than 24 hours. We have no idea why we packed this much, but uh, it's all, all the ideas that we had of what we wanted to do this weekend included all of these objects. So we're we're ripping it down, but. The boat's full, the, the truck's full, and most importantly, we got this guy. <laughs> How's it going, little dude? Yeah. Yeah, you look like you're just having a great time. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the farm, and uh, I am going to announce the winner. You guys have been commenting who won the rod giveaway for naming the pond. I'm gonna answer that, or I'm gonna announce it at the end of this video. So if you guys are here just for that, you're gonna have to skip to the end or watch all the way through or whatever. Uh, but if you guys don't remember, I had you guys name the duck hunting pond and the winner is getting a, a flare rod. So I'm gonna announce that at the end. Anyways, so we made it, we got everything here. It's looking good, truck's good, boat's good. We didn't lose the brute bush, so that's, that's great. Just wanted to give a huge thanks to Toyota for helping me out with this video. Look at this, God, they, we just, we brought way too much stuff. Look at all this stuff, we got, I mean, it looks, again, like I said, it looks like we're surviving in Alaska for a week. John's over there eating a lifetime supply of diamond, or did blue, was that blue diamond? Yeah, blue so diamond good. almonds. So this right here, this is the camper. This is going to be the HQ for the duck pond here. And uh, it's Austin's camper. Shout out to Austin. And uh, so we're going to, we got to take the cover off. We got to pop it up. That's where we're going to be sleeping. We're going to be sleeping there tonight and doing a little bit of camping like Austin was saying. Again, there's not really an agenda. We're just gonna be doing a bunch of crazy things. Uh, but we have to get this, this camper popped up, so uh, you guys just enjoy. Yeah, see this one, this can be loose because this is just for fall. Oh, mice, 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 a ton of mice. <laughs> Go get the camera. <laughs> oh. Got a, a few visitors here with us that joined us. So this guy, we, we dropped it. Austin dropped this off last week. No, about a month ago. Oh, just kidding. Austin dropped this off about a month ago. And now it's covered in mouse poop. And uh, I think we found found the den of mice. Where'd they go? Come here, little friend. Scared Bonzel. They're all in here, dude. So I think, I think what happened was we're not... There's no way we're sleeping in here. For one, I don't want mice crawling on me at night. And two, there's like, there's so much poop in here. It's not, there's no way it's healthy. So tonight has turned into, dude, I mean, it's everywhere on the ceilings. Tonight has turned into a uh, mice killing episode. And you guys will probably get, get to see a lot of dead mice. So if I just heard one. Yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here. Going into the boat. I got bug spray. You're not supposed to have your mouth open, bud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and a little more. And too much. But... Oh, God, it gets up in your nostrils, dude. Like yeah. Alright, we got everything, boys. Well, right here, this is the new boat ramp. So, last time you guys saw this, none of this was here. We made Kyle, I should say. Kyle made a boat ramp. And this is going to put the old Tundra to the test here. Because, uh,. That's just straight mud back there. I don't know how we're gonna get this boat out, but we're gonna try try our best. That'll be plenty good. Oh yeah. Good job, Austin. Do some good for something, right? Woo! So right here, this is the first stop. So for you guys who don't know, this is called the Brute Bakery, all right? So this is the, the pond that 
we're gonna try to build like into a big bass place where you can come catch big bass. Right now, we don't think there's any bass in here actually. We haven't caught a single bass. We've caught some green sunfish, some uh, crappie, right? Two crappie. Two crappie. So, um, but this is this is what we found. So it's dammed up another darn beaver dam. Gonna need more boom boom. And uh, that's kind of stopping the flowage coming in here. This water's also down. Do you guys know if any of you guys are like pond managers or anything like that? Do you guys know how do you how do you seal up a pond? Like once it's broken, Kyle and I were trying to figure out how it's leaking basically. Like how does this, how is it leaking? So how do you how do you target where it's leaking and how do you seal it and then fill it back up? So if any of you guys know the answer, let me know in the comments section down below. But this is kind of what we're dealing with. So this is one end. I haven't shown you guys a lot of this. And then this thing basically just wraps, wraps all the way around. So the whole, the whole plan right now is to kind of explore a little bit. Then we're going to put that, the brute bush. We're going to sink that sucker down there so we can catch fish out of it later on in life. And, uh, and then the fish trap, we got set the fish trap. I, I did some modifications. If you guys didn't see that video, you should go check it out. But I did some modifications. So now we got to see if we can catch any fish, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, we, right now we're going to test the depth of the brute bakery. Riggs, Riggs, how's it going? All right, so five foot? that's probably 10 foot. Come grab, come grab right here, stretch along the boat. Where are you at? I'll go to this end. So did they, does it go to the end of that railing? Yeah, Ish. almost. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I would say 12 foot. 12, 14. 12, 12, 14 foot right here. Next step, we got to sink the brute bush. I'm just going to tie this sucker in here and kind of hope for the best. We can take her off the side right here. It doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. All right. Here, I can kick it off. There you go. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. She is sinking like a rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Look at that. That was cool. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, we got to set the fish trap though. We got to see. I think we should honestly set it right here, kind of in this little where it's not so mossy. Honestly, just set it right here. We don't even need to move. Do it. So we just put the brute bush in the brute bakery. Now we got this fish trap. So I made this contraption. If you guys didn't see this video or the brute bush video, you guys can check it out. I'll link down below. But this is my contraption to make a floating trap because the sinking trap got caught in the weeds. So we're this is going to be the the maiden voyage of the floating trap contraption. See if it works. We're, the idea behind this is catch all the green sunfish in this pond. Uh oh. Riggs is gonna take your. Is nope. he gonna? I don't think he'll catch it. He should, he should go around him. Riggs. Riggs. He, oh, he's definitely caught on it. Riggs. He got it, dude. There you go. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some nice bread here. We're just gonna stuff her, stuff her in this little bait holder. Kind of ruffle it up a little bit. We're hoping this gets the, the green sunfish happy. Gets them all sorts of excited, and then they swim in the hole and they uh, get caught. So, all right, here we go. That Would you not eat that if you were a bluegill? I'd eat that. Beauty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got lovely Becca and Macy to bring us some pizza. So that's dinner while we're out on the boat doing boat things. That was a lot of cranking. We are, uh, we're taking the boat out, taking the squeaker seeker out. Hopefully the truck doesn't get stuck. It might, we'll see. It's uh, pretty soft, but I think we can do it. Quick, comment down below if you guys know, how do you get rid of this? Like, I don't wanna get rid of completely the weeds, cause I know weeds are good for fish, but like, you can't even cast. So, we try to run the boat around and kind of, you know, tear it up a little bit, but if there's anything, any chemicals or whatever that don't hurt fish, but get rid of, like, the hydrilla looking stuff, let me know. <laughs> Check this out, folks. This is new. We got gravel boat ramps. You guys remember last time, I'll roll the clip. Yeah, so last time we were rolling, throwing mud. Now we got nice boat ramp here and on the other pond there that you guys are gonna know the name of soon. So we're gonna put the boat in here, squeaker seeker in this guy. We're gonna rip around, try to maybe shoot some frogs, shoot some carp, just kind of explore, do a little bit of evening, nighttime exploration with the squeaker seeker that's the plan right now there's not really an agenda just just rip around and have some fun well we just launched the boat and there was a frog the size of a small dog 
Right there. I'm gonna try to shoot it with this little bow here. Love it. Dude, that's the biggest frog I've ever seen. Got him. Got, got him. him. Got him. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I got him. That's a big one. Didn't get the legs or anything. Save the meat. Get up here, big guy. Look at that. That is a massive frog. Oh, hit him right, right in the juicy spot. Look how big those legs are. That is some nice dinner there, folks. A few moments later. That was, look at him. Oh, I got him. I got him. There you go. I got him. I got him, boys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I thought I hit him. Right through the back, just barely. Leaving that meat on there, son. We got a nice dinner now. Well, we're going to Walmart. We are going to find some mouse traps. We gotta get rid of these mooses. Stupid moose. Dude, we're still wearing our boots, dude. Oh wait, oh wait, oh, oh, oh wait, okay. here we go. No, these, these work. These are just like this, just like less gonna hurt your fingers. So what's you know? like, what's like this? That thing, it spins inside, you don't see them, it's lame. Oh, okay. you get a set those, so when your finger gets chopped off, make Dude, sure it's I know how to do these. What, do you, what kind of uh, peanut butter do you think they like? Think they're kind of like a Nutella guy, Reese's? We give them the great value brand. They don't deserve Jiffy. What is it called? Jiff. <laughs> we ain't messing around now, boys. Okay. It's, we're basically in like a mouse apocalypse right now. So we're like guns blazing, you know. Not a zombie, a mouse. Try to shoot they him with the shotguns. zombie mice, you know. Try to shoot him with the shotguns, but there's BB holes all over now. Don't underestimate these mice. Alright. Uh, okay, how big are they? Like, at least the size of like a small dog. Seriously? Keep your eyes open. Don't forget your stuff, though. I got it. How much peanut butter did you do? Get a little, just prime it up a little bit, you know? Get them kind of nibbling and then they'll find their way right, right into the little crater of the doom. Just gotta, just gotta glob it all in Wow, there. okay. What? You, you want some mousetrap with that peanut butter or how's that gonna work? Oh, that's really sticky. Okay. Okay, so I got these two, you got those two. Oh. You get all these four set? Yeah, we don't, we don't need to mess with that quite yet. No. No, all these, I'll set all these four okay. when we get inside. How many of them are there? Twelve. Now I don't see anything. If there's not a dead mouse here tomorrow, I'm gonna be so shocked. Ow! Ah! <laughs> that scared me and hurt. I pinched my skin. All right, that's it, boys. These mice are toast. All right, that is the end of today's episode. Now the winner of the, well, it was the flare rod or the duck's call, uh, whichever one you prefer, was Connor Paramore. You won, and I'm naming it the Duck's Diner. I thought it was cool because it's the Brute Bakery, the Duck's Diner, keeping it revolving around like food and stuff like that, especially because we're gonna be killing the ducks and then eating the ducks. Like that's why we kill ducks is for food. So Duck's Diner, that's who won. Uh, I only picked one. That's gonna be the small, <coughs> That was a tasty mosquito. Oh, it's gonna be a, the small duck hunting pond. I still need a name for the big one, so we'll drop some more comments down below. It doesn't have to be anything with ducks, just anything with duck hunting involved. Uh, so drop your, your name suggestions down below, because I'll pick another winner for the snake-like one that you guys have seen earlier, that we shot the bullfrogs on. Anyways, really do appreciate the view. Peace.